So we start this lecture by a small remark. So say there are two based spaces x comma small x and y comma small y and there are two homotopic maps between them f and g. f and g preserve the base point that is they carry small x to small y. Now imagine on the space x there is a loop based at the base point. So there is a loop u. Now base point gets carried to the base point y and now we have two loops based at y. One is f composed with u, other is g composed with u. But both these loops are homotopic to each other since f is homotopic to g. Now this immediately implies that there are two homomorphisms from fundamental group of space x based at a point small x to fundamental group of space y based at point small y. So these two homomorphism f star and g star are equal to each other. Now we come to a lemma. So say you have a big space x and you take small two points in it x and y and both these points lie in the same path component of x. Now this would mean that the fundamental group now this implies the fundamental group if you are based at small x or you are based at small y the fundamental group remains the same and in that case since if they both lie on the same path component if x is path connected you just write the fundamental group as pi 1 of x. So let us prove this lemma. So say you have a path v which connects two points x and y since both lie in the same path component. So now we have a map from pi 1 x comma x to pi 1 x comma y you carry the path u so you take path u you put v bar in front of it and v behind it so v bar means the path opposite to v so let us draw this so you have a path from x to y this is given by v and there is a loop based at base point x. So this is given as v and the path in the opposite direction is given as v bar. So u just gets mapped to you first travel from y to x that is v bar then you take a loop that is u and then you take path v and travel back to y. So that is what the homomorphism we are suggesting. So this is well defined. To show this is, this is well defined, so say there is another loop u prime which is homotopic to this loop u. And this loop u prime is also based at x. So that is why we are writing relative to 0 1. So you first travel v bar then u and then v it's same as this is homotopic to you first travel v bar then u prime and then v. So let us just draw this and see it. So this is v opposite is v bar and now we have two homotopic loops u and say u prime. Now you can clearly see that if you travel from y to x and then travel around u and back to y this is homotopic to traveling from y to x travel around u prime and then back to y. Now this v hash is a homomorphism so this we have to show. So say we are given another loop w and we know that this v hash carries the fundamental group based at x to fundamental group of the space x based at y. So say you have these two loops u and w. So you are given another loop say w and now you have these two loops u and w. So first we deal with u, you apply v hash to it. 
Now this u times w would just be first travel u and then travel w. So first we apply v, v hash to u. So you put v bar in front of it and v behind u. So you write u. You put v bar in front of it and v behind it. Then you write w. You put v bar in front of it and v behind it. That is how we have defined v hash. So this is just the constant path. So again the element which is in the fundamental group of x based at y this is nothing but what we have just written v bar u v v bar w v is nothing but v hash of w times or v hash of u times v hash of w so v v bar is just the constant function so we just skip that so u composed with constant function will just give you u. So you get u w, there is a v bar in front of it and v behind it. So this is nothing but equal to v hash of u v. So you get a proper homomorphism. Now we need to define an inverse. So first again recall v hashes you take an element u you put v bar in front of it and v behind it yeah you first travel v bar then the loop u and then v so in the re reverse direction so you put now v in front of it and v bar behind it so just reverse the order so you put v in front of it and v bar behind it just carry the element in now so we are applying this to v bar u v so this is just the constant map this is again just the constant map so you just get u yeah so this is a proper inverse function so properly defining it is you take a loop based at y you apply v v to it and then v bar to it that is you basically yeah you uh, take a loop apply v a v bar to it so notice v hash may depend upon choice of path so that is the homomorphism may depend upon choice of path so if w is another path from x to y then this inverse w hash v hash u this will be equal to first you apply v hash so in front of you you put v bar behind you put v and then you apply w bar so w bar means you first put w and then at the end you put w bar so w and v bar so this is nothing but v w bar inverse so traveling first path w and then traveling v bar that is going back is same as inverse of you first travel v and then w bar and take the inverse of it so these are two path x and y and i have drawn a hole between them there is a path v and there is a path w again from x to y so now you can clearly see first travel w and then v bar is same as first travel v then w bar and then you take inverse of it so it's, this will give you the same map as w v bar so you rewrite this so instead of w v bar you write v w bar inverse u and v w bar so basically i am writing this as a conjugation so this is id only if the the fundamental group is abelian So this w hash bar and then v hash is nothing but conjugation. So this is a conjugation. So conjugation by the element v w bar. And in particular So 
So conjugation by the element V W bar of this fundamental group. Now if V and W are homotopic, so in the figure I've drawn, there is a hole, so they are not homotopic, but if they are homotopic, then there is not a problem, you know, then then you will again get ID. Yeah, precisely because if you first travel V and then you travel with W bar back, this is just equal to the constant path at X. And you can sub it in, in the relationship and you will get ID.